Our next stop in Bargain Bin Lounge's You Don't Know June is the PlayStation version of You Don't Know Jack. Now the thing about this version is that it's essentially Volume 3 with a little bit of movies and a little bit of offline popped in. But it's still very much the same You Don't Know Jack that you know and love. How many contestants? Uh, I think we're doing... Which, which, which one am I? Am I You're two? player two. I'll go ahead and buzz us in. Oh, uh, that cropping. Oh, where am I sitting? I'm sitting on the left. Oh, that's that's neat. That's actually really nice. Yeah. Uh, let's do 21. So which one is your buzzer? Which one's your screw? Hey. Oh. All right, up here are the oh, look at that thin PS1 now, controller. Oh, we are, the ones well, these are PS2 controllers we're using. Cool. Cool. Oh, look at that thing. Ten seconds. They, they used to look like that. Right, they did. Ah, ew. Alright, so he said the buzzer was the face button that corresponds to the answer. So you don't get to buzz in first, you just go for broke. Just dive in. All right, well, here here we go, I guess. Jelly Vision. Thought there'd be more preparation, more setup, like we enter our names and all that, but we're just going, I think. Give it time. Unless if we're just setting up the game and then it's loading everything else and then we set it all up. What I don't know. Could kill you. Oh, no. Oh. 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 It's time I thought the K was just having a fit. That's a big straw. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, it's oh, this a is... Person game today. What's going on? So I don't think right. there's enough technology to actually okay, you two. Last one la to let us in. input right. names. I was thinking that, that, yeah. It's either that or it's on disc two, okay. and that would be so hilarious. Ew. If you want to force your neighbor to answer a question that you know they don't know, buzz in and hit that little select button. That's select button. Select. Select, select is the screw. Your okay, screw select button. <laughs> Ooh, that was some PS1 loading. All right, player two, where are we going? Oh, we are going to uh, a complimentary soap bar. It's the best Christmas ever. Mm. <laughs> Just like Grandma used to make. <laughs> oh, I cleaned my mouth out. A complimentary soap bar? It's the best Christmas ever. <laughs> Good inflection. dollars at stake on this one. All right, listen up. There are ten holidays that the U.S. government has declared federal holidays. Ah, Imagine as of that now. Holiday Inn hotels offer a sleep free on federal holidays promotion. Which of these slogans could they could not they use? Could they not use? The use? No, I need a buzzer. Oh, no, you. Too. Right. Easter is you got a buzz and then yeah. Uh, which holiday. which one was your buzzer? It was R one. R one. When people don't have to work anyway. <laughs> nice job. And after so all having working and having to look at holidays and see what you get holiday pay for. Exactly. Easter is not one. Columbus Day is one, one of them. That's two. stupid. That's that dumb. is that is very stupid. Where are we going? Uh, uh you ever have that not so fresh feeling, you douche? Just be fresh all the time, man. It's not a douche commercial. Oh, is Here it? Here we yeah. have. Oh. Ever have that not so fresh feeling? Two thousand dollars says you don't know this one. You ever Put feel gear, not so fresh? Here we go. Yeah. Hmm. Say they pepped up boring old panty shields by making them out of the same thing as the Canadian shield. What? Be the best slogan for the new Canadian panty shields. Ah. Uh, Solid protection. It has feathered wings. Ooh. As comfortable as huh. a mountain saddle. Or warning may cause static. Shock. Canadian shield. Canadian shield. Canadian panty shield. I'm gonna say that's something. The Canadian Shield is a huge rock formation that covers parts oh. of Canada and the U.S. Whew. Okay. I'm assuming these would. Bravo. Only be used that one just jumped days. out to me for some reason, so I'll take it. Okay, man. Hey. Uh, bears, bo or, uh, bulls, and balls. I can't read. <laughs> the triple B. It's my favorite thing to have for a Sunday lunch. Bears. Bulls, the category, bears, and bulls, bulls and balls. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. Man, is it me or can you see almost any kind of sport on some of those cable sports networks? If you turned on ESPN2 and saw a bunch of guys known to regulate stock trading playing basketball against oh, Jesus Christ. Like Alabama and Georgia, what would you be watching? Oh, oh. The, ACC, the WAC playing in the WAC, the SEC uh, playing in the SEC. Oh, that's actually <laughs> a great question. <laughs> that is fantastic. 
stick. <laughs> against the colleges. Uh, oh, I think oh, it's no. this. The Securities and Exchange Commission regulates trading on the Ooh, you got it. Booyah! Southeastern Conference is a college conference in the NCAA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm getting confused over whether the referee is signaling a jump ball or a junk bond. All right, so the technology is definitely less, mm -hmm. but I these questions are certainly making me just do a flip. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a, it's a so you Hollywood kiss your, Square dancing. You kiss your mother with that mouth. You kiss your mom on the lips. <laughs> I'm not Tom Brady. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Tom Brady kisses his children on the no, mouth. You kiss your this mother with that mouth. This one can net you a grand. Okay. One grand. You're in a sports bar, and you overhear this guy trying to pick up some woman. To impress her, he brags about the time he put the biscuit in the basket by scoring a five hole from the slot. If he keeps his sports lingo what? consistent, what pickup line would he use next? Ooh! So maybe you want to go put the biscuit in the basket by scoring a five I hole. A great slam dunk, or would you like to see my pommel horse? Oh! Any ideas? Uh... No, it's not baseball. It's not oh, basketball. Cool. Awesome, I think it's pommel horse. Uh, hello? Buzz in, maybe? I, I tried, I am buzzed in. Too late now. I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know either. Hopefully this controller works. Did you, pre did you press the right buzzer? I thought I... No, it buzzes you in automatically. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. Just like a power oh, play, it's a power play. hold the slot and putting the biscuit in the basket are all common hockey expressions. Hockey expressions. He mentions he once got two in the box for syphilis. Well, that's that's not hockey anymore. Uh. <laughs> I really <laughs> hope this, uh, this controller's X button still works. I'll, I'll, tr I'll uh, give How about a shot. Uh, astronomical proportions? I think this controller is... Hold! Please! Okay. Three, two, one, go. I want astronomical proportions. There we go. We have converted to Mad Cats, the little brother of controllers. It's a seven out of ten, I think, in terms of Mad Cats controllers. Still works. Dollars if you get this one right. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. All right. If the Roman god Mercury, the Venus de Milo, and your anus suddenly ballooned to the size of the planets Mercury, Venus, and Uranus, which of these series would be true? Big god, medium, butthole, small statue, big god, medium, statue, small butthole, Oh, shit, okay. Butthole, medium, statue, oh, I don't god, know the planet butthole, sizes. God, small oh. Venus, Mercury, and Uranus. Ah, oh, Venus is pretty big, right? Uranus, the planet, is the third largest in our solar system. Venus is the fourth smallest, and Mercury is the second Very smallest. Very nice! Mm-hmm. Because I know what all three of those things were, and I just, okay, let's think about, about planets and space and, and time and Roman god Mercury. As big as the planet Mercury. As big as your butthole. A small god. A cosmic scheme of things. Don't be so double negative! I love double negatives. I don't not love them. I ain't got them. I wasn't a double negative. And this one is. Don't I ain't, be so double negative. Like, you negative. ain't not got them. This well, I'm not be the being so double, uh, double up, negative. Which of these well known ad slogans is a double negative? Nothing beats a great pair of legs. Hey, nobody doesn't like Sara Lee is a grammatically correct. Yes, we were watching negative. television one day at my grandparents' house, and, and that just stuck out to like, nobody doesn't, doesn't like, like Sara Lee. Lee. It's like everybody hates that it then. Run into a nobody. Does does not yes. Player two, what's it gonna be? Uh, basic cable grammar. I like cable. I like grammar. I hope it's a Fraser uh, joke because I can talk about Kelsey Grammar. Well, what do we have here? Knowing basic you don't know Jack, they would grammar. definitely do that. And you pocket two thousand bucks. Wait for it. If you get this one, hey cable fans, imagine this. The all-new language channel debuts with a comedy oh. about the wacky <laughs> adventures of two symbols called Amber. Which the ampersand oh. is also known as the and sign. I mean, it's right there. And, and, and. I mean, duh. Course, I know, I know. Symbols, you might think <laughs> I was still reading the question by the time you buzzed in. With their arms crossed around their Speed legs. reading for the win. Look I'm just surprised I'm still in the positive. Even with the screw. They got good questions oh, here, I think. Take your pick. Uh, da, da, hmm. da, Raisin Raisins. We're gonna get a California raisins joke. I was joke. just thinking yeah, right. it was most likely California raisins. 
Well, looks like this category is raisin raisins. Thousand bucks if you I'm get. I'm surprised to how Let's see elegantly how this moves this on PS1. Yeah. The no loading. Yep. Are your raisin oh dendro. Jesus. Which of the following is most likely the case? You work for a California raisin. <laughs> raison d'etre means reason for living. Wow. These are softball yep, questions. Your sights low. That's what I say. I think the sad part is I'm fluent in French and I couldn't You're remember what raison d'etre meant. Anything less than SPF 30 is inadvisable, speaking as an Irish-Italian man who can't tan for shit. I don't tan, I but, burn. But burns for a motherfucker, though. I burn. Yeah. This one's called, anything less than SPF 30 is inadvisable. $1,000 <laughs> at stake on this one. Okay, here's the All deal. Right. sun tanning at the beach, you realize that you've neglected a few crucial pale spots. If you want to get some color on your perineum, what would you have to do to allow for direct sunlight from the noonday sun? Fold ears mm, forward perineum. and take the face-aim sun reflectors at the backs of knees lie on stomach while clicking. All yours, player one. <sighs> well, you're toast. <laughs> I have hit the negative. Oh no, I've hit zero. You're, you're still, yeah. I mean, I'm still in the positive. Fold ears forward and tape to your face is incorrect, but you know, don't let that stop you from experimenting. <laughs> Bet you wish you'd pick this. The I saw that. Really? Known yeah. as the taint is that special place between the genitals eh. and the anus, ah. so you'd have to do a handstand and then spread them. Just think, your bronze taint would be the envy of all other taints. Hey there, uh, I've never seen a taint like you before. Uh, can I buy you a drink? No thanks, I'm in the middle of something. I taint never. Rated T for strong language and suggestive Wait, themes. Huh, just What's like all next? the others that weren't rated. Uh, bam! Uh-oh, don't lose your cool, because you're about to join a three-way. Ooh. Must have been a special category for number three. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're going to see a three-way like this one. If you buzz in when the correct member of the three-way is lit up, it's a thousand in the bank. Okay. But watch out, if you're wrong, you'll lose a grand Kukla every was not time you're Wars. wrong. <laughs> it was all of her mind. And here we go. Category for this one is the question with a staple in its navel. <laughs> this is the kind of three-way you find hidden in your father's sock drawer. It's all about Playboy, Penthouse, and Hustler. Oh, good Ready lord. Ready steady, rock. Okay. I had no idea who that was. Bob Cuccioni! Okay. Honeys! Uh. Shit! Oh. Because the bunnies are the playboy. Correct. Yeah, I mean, precisely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pets? Oh, well. There we go. Penthouse pets, yeah. That's how we Finally! Got, got some, me some, some money! All right, that was the classiest porn top. question we've ever got. I read it for the articles. Like. Player B, you're in the lead. Very impressive. Very impressive. We got money! How's this? This isn't okay, like you don't know Jack. What's happening? I hate this version. I have money. What's going on? Garbage! <laughs> Absolute garbo. Well, that, we're about to get double now, so. Uh, yeah, so double the negative. <laughs> Right. By the way, uh, you got this on eBay, right? Oh, no, I got it from a friend. Oh, okay. Well, ex-girlfriend of a neighbor. That works. Urkel's gravitational pull, go! Did I pull that? Eleven. For your enjoyment, Urkel's gravitational pull. Get it right. You're probably definitely gonna get this. Hey, ever found ever yourself coming Riders. up with really Me neither. complicated excuses but for you why know you're gravity. sitting on your ass watching yeah. crappy TV? I'm done Suppose with it. Suppose you claim that a gravitational force from an undetectable source in the universe is causing you to watch Urkel on TV. Dark matter is believed to make up over 90% of the universe and have a gravitational effect on matter scientists actually can see. Yep, told ya. <laughs> I honestly picked that question, not because I figured I knew it, but because it was funny. <laughs> a sitcom called Math! I like Math. I didn't watch MASH. No, oh, neither did I. I just but, hope this is more math than mash. But but I think I was more and around I mean, mash more in my youth than you were. 
now. Oh, definitely. Right I've never watched Six Smash. 6,000. That's a lot rating. of big ones. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. Suppose that the 1984 cast of Saturday Night Live and the cast of Seinfeld are two mathematical sets. Which of the following would be true of the two sets? Fuck. Julia Louis-Dreyfus is the intersection. Michael oh. Richards is the intersection. Julia Louis-Dreyfus is the union. Or Michael Richards. Blair Gosh, darn it. I was really rude Damn it. for you. Ah. Balls in your court, player two. Julia Louis Dreyfus has been on Saturday Night Live mm. and Seinfeld, mm. so she's ah. the intersection of the two sets. <laughs> Michael Richards was on the variety show Fridays, which intersected with a garbage can in 1982. <laughs> player two, give me something. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> My dad's minivan has a bitch in stereo. Oh, hell yeah. Ah! Oh Jesus. my god. Oh god. 14 this died. Categories known as My dad's minivan has a bitch in stereo. Play your cards right. Four grand. Four thousand bucks. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. Considering its name, which car was most likely designed to carry up the four musicians to band practice and make trips to the grocery store in three distinct movements? Uh, Honda, Ford, Ford, Tempo, Honda Prelude or Hyundai Sonata? Three distinct movements? All yours? A Sonata is a piece of chamber ah. music for up to four performers written in three distinct movements <laughs> music more passive <laughs> I'm back in the positive yeah movements I thought I told you to go Nicely before done. we left thank you let's have a category uh, one is that a club in your hand that's probably a golf joke <laughs> I'll go hallelujah Tory Tory hallelujah Tory Tory politics hallelujah. Yeah. God, I hope not. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Oh, if only there were more shows on TV like Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> Imagine that Fox produces a spin-off series, Beverly Hills 90125. If it followed the content of the 1983 album 90125, oh, no. what, what the hell? Say, what is this? I don't... Lonely heart what? Donna takes vows as a sister Christian, <sighs> Kelly... Ah! Wrong button! Uh, you need to buzz in and then screw me. If you're gonna screw me. Oh, okay. There you go. So what's the answer, player two? <sighs> okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. What? Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. Are you fucking kidding? Hmm. Would have been funnier if the band's name was No. Player one, one good screw. I will take my lumps. Another. I will take that L. I just chose it because I know I know and like that song. Owner of a lonely heart. Mm -hmm. -na 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 -na. Owner of a lonely heart. Much better than How can you breathe through that? Oh, I was hoping you were gonna choose that. Okay, player one, scram. Player two, get ready for This is a just for you. Dad. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Enjoy, okay. friend. We got a diss or dat. Diss or dat. Here we go. I actually really like Diss or Dat. Diss or Dat's category name is... How can you breathe through oh, that? Oh, no! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read off seven movie titles. Uh -huh. Which one I want you to tell me if it's Beast has gills or a blowhole. As each one oh. comes up, if it has gills, push the square button. If it has a blowhole, press the circle. And to skip, hit the triangle button. Each correct answer will net you 1,000 okay. bucks. Okay, but each and wrong answer taken away minus 1,000 bucks. Incorrect answer in so this is before the other players could steal. All right, I'll start you off with 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Jaws, does it have gills or a blow? It's gills, is it shark? Piranha. Oh, uh, fish. There you go. Free Willy. No, oh, this whale. is an easy diss or dad. Uh, tentacles. Moby Ooh. Dick. It's a whale. Flipper. Uh, he was a Flipper. dolphin. Flipper. Faster than lightning. That was an easy Only diss or dad. Wrong. Pretty damn good, cowboy. Let's toss that into your total. Money. Shooting tax. Let's wow. mosey on ahead. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's happening. see. Hubert was a weasel. <laughs> you know, I hate Hubert. Oh, uh, yeah, I do too. But let's see who he snitched on. Yeah. Who's the weasel? Say hello to Hubert was a weasel. How does $2,000 sound? Think fast. Because the animal represented in the title does not actually appear in the game, which of the following video game titles is a misnomer? Frogger, Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Kong, or Sen- Player 1! 
There's no donkey. The main animal character yep. in Donkey Kong is a big ape, not a donkey. Almost chose centipede, not gonna lie, but there is a centipede that, that in is, centipede. That, that thing is a centipede, is it not? Yes, it is. Unless you want to really call Sonic a hedgehog, I mean. A hedgehog. Oh, bummer. On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on 17. Yeah! Damn! Open wide and get ready for Country classic right there, 17. Whoa! Like Ooh. Get myself out of the negative. Wow. All right. Rock. Geographically speaking, if you are down in the dumps in the doldrums, where are you? Lying in a scrap heap in the Mojave Desert, shivering in a landfill in Siberia? A scrap heap in the Mojave Desert? Wouldn't that place you in Las Vegas? Ooh, I suppose. Now, player one, you the can doldrums. I, I, I had to make a choice. All yours, player one. Mm, no delay. Damn it. No delay. Mm. Is it near this. the equator? The Dome yeah. Drums okay. is an area Shoot. of calm winds near the equator. I went on a South American cruise once. Now, that was like floating in a garbage can near the equator. The well, that round was indeed a <clears throat> bummer. Now, <laughs> player one, give me let's category. see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no more any marshmallows for you, sister? What? Question 18. No more mini marshmallows for you, sister. Think you can handle six thousand one dollars? Another six thousand dollar question. Here is the Swiss Miss girl put on a few pounds. Imagine this. On her new Swiss diet, the Swiss <laughs> Miss girl can only eat foods named after countries. Oh that come on! Which of the following items can she not chow down? French fries. Can she Italian not chow down on? Well, you should really get that look. Fuck. <laughs> Player two, it's yours if you want it. One, one or the other. One or the other. One or the other. The other. Uh, uh. Player two, grab it's it. It's gonna be fucking. Put away the whipped cream, sister. Belgium doesn't border Switzerland. <laughs> Although I don't know, maybe she eats enough Belgian waffles. She actually it was Italy or Belgium. Belgium after a while. You have the. To be or not to be, two. Arthur, please. Yes. Yes. I got a Golden Girls clip to show you after this. Okay. <laughs> I'm down. Betty White tells a joke okay, and they just break. Give it up for Those are always the best. Rue and B just break. Arthur, 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. All right, here's one for you TV theme song buffs. What are the concluding lyrics to the theme song of the 70s sitcom, Maud? Anything but tranquilize and write on Maud, she'll get tempers right. I never watched Maud. Don't discuss her thighs. I bet you never did either. Oh, definitely not. Bam. If you look to your left, you'll see the popular wrong answer. Ooh. Oh, man. You move, player two. It's, uh, it's okay. most likely square. She may get tempers rising, but uh, unfortunately not your score. Uh, really? Hmm. The correct answer is... Thighs? Oh. We're talking about that uncompromising, enterprising, anything but tranquilizing right on mod. Hmm. For some reason, I feel like wearing polyester and drinking scotch. I never, never saw oh, that. Yeah. I, I didn't know. File this, you doing? bastards! Question number 20. Oh, <laughs> please don't be a tax no question. Serving. File this, you bastards! For a thousand big ones for a right Can answer. Can it be a file here. extension okay, question? Sit back, relax, and imagine it's April 15th, the tax deadline. As there you're you sitting go. there complaining while filling out your tax forms, which of these mutterings would be factually accurate? <gasps> I wish the U.S. had skipped the year 1903. Oh. Progressive tax? How is this progress? Damn the French for thinking of this. Or, I can't believe I pay 80%. Uh. 1861 was the first year the U.S. had an income tax. See, people have been swearing about it since the days of Abe Lincoln. Player one, oh, okay. what do you say? Uh... U.S. income tax is a progressive tax. Wow. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take progressively it. progressively rises, so does your ability to find a tax lawyer who can get you out of paying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Player this is the jack attack. Me. What's next? Uh, child's play. And that's Chucky taking another victim. Horror movies. Bring it on. Welcome to the jack attack. 
<laughs> your eyes on the screen, and when you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I give you two thousand. Oh, I didn't know. If Shit. Wrong, this is my way to get back in the positive. Don't forget. Remember the clue. <gasps> no, <the> old words <laughs> I always love that. Remember the clue. Uh, clue. It's like child's play. But not like the movie with a killer doll. Fuck! It's Damn different it. from that. Okay, good luck. <sighs> Follow? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, got uh, it. Okay, got it. Understood. Ah! Shit. Spin the bacon. <laughs> Spin the bottle! <laughs> it was the B word. Eh. Oh. Kick the baby. Kick the rabbit. Don't kick, kick the your partner. <laughs> Don't kick the donkey. Ah. Kick, kick the, the leader. <laughs> ah, it's just kick the can. I love kick the can. Uh, steal. <laughs> steal, steal your girl. Steal the alligator. Steal the bacon. <laughs> steal <laughs> flute. Steal his spelling. <laughs> Steal him! Uh oh, cr uh, crack flu. <laughs> crack the monkey. Crack, crack the moron. <laughs> crack, crack, the crack the whip. <laughs> oh, these are uh, skin, skin the baby. <laughs> skin, skin Holy shit! Oh, it's not skin the donkey. Uh, I've never heard of this. Is it skin the snake? It must be skin the snake. Spank, Spank the monkey. The monkey. <laughs> That's donkey. Ah, oh, shit! It's the other onky. Off. There. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> steal off. Steal my red bottle. Steal the bacon. S a steal off? Steal flute. Steal the snake. Steal the bacon. I've, Have you ever I've heard never of heard of that. Skin the baby. Uh, okay. Skin the wallet. The rubber <laughs> chicken. Skin the leader. <laughs> We're skinning the leader. Skin the snake. The leader. The, the leader. leader. We're skinning the leader. We're skinning the leader. Okay, so you definitely won that, but did I get back in the positive? God oh. damn it! I don't think our score changed from that entire round. Nope. That was that was awesome. Oh, well. That was a good, solid laugh, and, uh, by, by the way, uh, these You Don't Know Jack games we're playing are indeed not that expensive. It, no. Does this game count as being under $5? Nice if you look hard enough, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a year 2000 PlayStation game. Not even then, 99. 99? And it's like a trivia game full of questions nobody remembers anymore. Yep, so, easy find. Yeah. Oh! You got a high score. I got a I guess. high score. That's a high score. What about me? My they'll, high score was way higher than they'll yours. They'll give you a chance. They'll give you a chance. My high score was so high, it's like dank weed up in here. Here we go. For posterity. Excellent. All right, player two, your turn. All your, right. The, your much better score. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, wow, that's way higher. You know what, player one? <laughs> it just deletes yours. You! you. <laughs> Did I need to move over? And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't do this for everyone, just people who have just played the game. If you want to play again, let me know. I think that'll do it for today. I think that will do it for this week. So, uh, next week is another You Don't Know Jack game. Another, uh, little, uh, collection from that, uh, pack that you got for five dollars. In the mega pack, I figured we'd have some fun with a selection of questions, the category being something we're both familiar with. That was a sentence sandwich, I apologize, but trust me, you're gonna like it. <laughs> Needs a little bit of, uh, picante on there. Anyway, we'll see you next week for more You Don't Know Jack on You Don't Know June! <laughs>